Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Kev the Barber with another classic. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. It's been about two weeks. Today, we're gonna be doing a self-cut. I know a lot of people in the comments been asking me about that. Um, you know, some people are down to do it. Some people just wanna have a fresh, uh, you know, like fresh up between the haircuts. I know other people just wanna do it themselves. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this video. But I just wanna say it's been a long time coming. I literally recorded this video like, I want to say like three times, three, four times. It's because for me, like, I don't know what it is, but it's really hard for me to record myself cutting myself. Because even cutting myself is like difficult. But then I got to show you guys like how I'm doing it. I want to have Danny help me record, but you know, it's been, the schedule has been messed up. But a whole lot of information that you guys probably didn't care about. But um, yeah, so today I'm, I just came from the gym. Um, so my hair looks a little messed up. So it's like, it's a perfect before, like perfect. Sometimes you just got to mess up the hair before you go. But ideally when you go to a, a barbershop you want your hair to be combed out um here my hair isn't combed out it's like nice and coiled and, and uh you know kind of messy and that's because i'm only going to do the sides and i also wanted to show you guys how different a hair looks or, or a look is um when you just do the sides like you can literally just mess up the top if your sides are tight and the haircut is tight back in the day i did a, a how to pick and style your high top fade i like picked it out the whole thing just try to make it look real neat okay. There we go. And that's the high top. Somebody in the comments was like, it looks so much better before you did it. That's because now we've gone from neat and, and picked out and perfect high tops that's not as in as a curly top, you know? So for those out there, I don't know, who are interested in this cut and interested in different looks, you just do the sides and it's pretty low maintenance. Do the sides and I'm like, I really don't even have to touch my hair for like a week. <laughs>
video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys liked it. I just had a little tiny bit of struggle there. I don't know why I came up so high on the sides, bro. But like, I'm on the back. But bang with it. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know. If you don't, leave a thumbs up and let me know. You feel what I mean? Yeah, so that's a self-cut system. I think it's pretty dope. Like, when I'm cutting here, I can see there. Then turn, and I just see my face right here. Turn, see there. The elongated mirror allows for a better, pleasant, more ease, a easy experience. And I think it's dope. Uh, I think there should be a link in the description below if you want to try this out. I'm not an ambassador for the brand or anything. He just sent me the, the Heaven Lights. Saw my other video, sent me the Heaven Lights. Wanted me to try this out, and I think it's pretty dope. And the video, I think it looks kind of purple. But it's like, it's really bright. It's not too harsh. Like, I think what's really important about lights when you cut hair is, like I said in my RMF, that it doesn't create highlight spots. Like, it creates a soft look. I don't know how. Maybe because the way I set up the lights, the lights are up here. So the, the um... Uh, what do we call it? The edges of the light hit your hair instead of the actual light right here. So it creates a soft look and it's true to um, realistic lighting so that you can get a realistic haircut. And I think that's what's dope about, that's my favorite thing about this outside of the ease of use. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys like my haircut. And if you ever tried this product, if you're curious, just leave a comment below, any questions. Thanks again. See you guys in the next one.